Hello, it is time for another episode of my reading booktubers favorites series. This is like my favorite thing to do at the moment. And yes, if you couldn't tell, this one is going to be focused around Chloe from Books with Chloe, who I absolutely love. I never film at night, so I feel like this lighting is making it look kind of crazy, but my child is asleep, so it, I figured it's my chance to do this intro. <laughs> So yes, if you haven't seen my previous videos in this series, I have done two so far. I did April of Aprilius Maximus and Jan from Jan Agaton. And those are like my two favorite videos that I have done this year. So we are on to the third. And April actually guessed that I was doing this from my TBR video and she texted me and asked if I was going to be reading Books with Chloe's favorite books. So I don't know if anyone else guessed that this was the next booktuber that I was going to be doing this video for, but here we are and I'm very, very excited. Like I said, I love Chloe. I have been watching her for years also. I am subscribed to her on Patreon um, and I have a few books that I'm going to be reading that she also enjoyed. So let's talk about them. I feel like some of these might not be all-time faves but I was just going by which books I actually already owned. Potentially I could add in some library books if I want to, but we're also in lockdown, so I can't actually go to the library, so we'll see. Okay, so first up, I'm very excited to see whether I like this or not, but the first book, we have Normal People by Sally Rooney. This one, I feel like people either absolutely love it or absolutely hate it, and I am very intrigued to see which one I am, but Chloe recently um, had this book in a reading vlog and she cried and she loved it and I was actually like the top comment on one of those I think it was the reading vlog that she read this in so just shout out to me being like a celebrity on Chloe's video anyway so there we have book number one I'm not gonna talk about what they're about because my child could wake up at any minute um, and also I don't really know so I'll tell you once I start reading the second physical book that I have is The Beautiful by Renee Adier which I've had on my shelf for ages I think this was in her favorites of the year last year maybe and it's funny because I actually bought this because this was one of the patreon buddy reads and then I never read it I actually have a lot of books that were patreon buddy reads that I've gotten and I didn't end up reading them which is funny because if you know me you know how much I love book clubs but for some reason I yeah I never read the buddy reads but anyway I'm gonna read this and then that means that there is a Patreon exclusive vlog for this that I can watch. But there's book number two. And then the next two books that I have, I have them both on ebook. The first of which is Starfish by Akemi Dawn Bowman. And I have had this in my Kindle app for years. It was like a Kindle deal and it was like either really cheap or it was free, I can't really remember. But at that point, I hadn't really heard anyone talk about it. And then I saw Chloe do her reading vlog for this book and it made me so much more excited to read it. Jan also loved this book, so that gets me hyped. And I had it in my TBR video and Steph from Steph's Bookish World commented on it and said that she also loved it. So I am hoping that I'm going to absolutely love it as well. And then the fourth book and possibly the final book, depending on how much time I get, is going to be Punk 57. I feel like lately Chloe has been in a very romance mood and she's read a lot of romance books. And yes, I think she's read Punk 57 twice this year. Or maybe just, wait, I might be misremembering there. Anyway, yes, I'm very excited to read Punk 57 because it is also a very hyped book. Um... So yeah, I'm very excited. Those are the book plans. Like always, I'll be trying to do some Chloe-centered things. And I'm very, very excited for this week. I was going to say something and now I've forgotten. I guess that's it for the intro because I don't know anything about the books. So yeah, I'm going to check back in when I have something to say. Okay, I just want to do a quick update um, because Kian's going to interrupt. I can already hear him. But I am about halfway through Normal People and I am loving it. I'm going to be finishing it tomorrow, definitely. Um, yes, but I'm excited because I'm loving it so far. It does have a weird writing style and I know people have said this before um, because there's no like quotation marks around... Um, 
dialogues, but I'm also listening to the audiobook and following along because, as I've said, that's my favorite way to read books at the moment. So I think that's helping. I have got a few things <laughs> marked down, but I can't talk now, so I'll come back. I, if you're wondering why I'm in a different location, I'm at my dad's house. We are currently in the lockdown and my dad isn't here. He's away at the moment, so his house is empty. So it's kind of the only place we can go that is in our own house. Um, just needed a bit of a different scenery. Kian um, gets bored of the same four walls very easily. I mean, as do I, but he's the one that I care about pleasing. Um, and yeah, we're not really allowed to go anywhere else. Oops. Because we're in lockdown. So his house is empty. I don't know how many nights we're going to stay mm. here. Maybe just tonight. I don't really know. Um, he also has a backyard that needs the lawn to be mowed. So I'm going to do that. Well, I'm not going to. <laughs> and I'm going to let Kian play outside for a bit in the backyard because that is obviously a safe place to play while we're in lockdown. That was a big spiel that you didn't need to hear, but just in case you were curious why the location might look different in some clips. Mm -hmm. Also the lighting is way better here, so I actually do want to film some videos here this week, I think. Um, anyway, the actual update is Normal People by Sally Rooney. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I was worried about this because Lots of people I've seen loving this, but I've also seen a lot of people really not liking it. So I was worried I was going to be one of those people, but do I need to move that Woolworths bag? The bright green is kind of annoying me. Anyway, this is a five star read. This is like an all time favorite book now, I think. I need, to, I don't have my tabs, I only had a highlighter. Um, so I highlighted a bunch of pages and I've dog eared them so I know where to tab. I'm not going to read them out because some of them, you know, it's a personal connection of why I liked certain quotes, but I really loved this book. Oh my goodness. What I will say is if you have tried to read this and you didn't really enjoy it, because um, it does have a very specific writing style, like there are no quotation marks around speech. Um, I listened to the audiobook. Wait, did I already say that? Anyway, I listened to the audiobook and followed along physically, so I would recommend that. Um, I loved this so much. Oh my goodness. And now I am about 10 pages into the next two books. So I'm 10 pages into The Beautiful by Renee Adier. I'm not super vibing it right now. I think I'm in a romance mood. So then I picked up Punk 57, um, which I have as an ebook, and I'm about 10 pages into that. And so far, I'm loving that one. I was a bit worried about that um, as well because I didn't know if I was going to love it. But I think I'm actually going to add a book to my TPR this week because I've been meaning to read this book. Um, I should have read it when I did my reading Jan's favorite books because I know this is one of her favorite books, so I think she'll be excited that I'm reading this. But I think I'm gonna pick up A Diary of Blood, which I don't have physically, but I have the ebook to read. I really hate reading ebooks, and I have three this week. Oh my God. My eyes just prefer paper, and my hands prefer paper. I prefer paper books. <laughs> I think I'm going to read A Diary of Blood. I have seen it, so many people reading it recently. I feel like Chloe is the first person that I actually saw read it. It was her Patreon um, buddy read a few months ago. And I kind of wish I read it when, you know, with all of the other Patreons. But it's been getting a lot of hype. So I'm very interested to see if I will like it. And it's only 200 and something pages. Maybe I'll read it instead of the beautiful. I'm probably going to have to pause this reading vlog yeah. because I do have a book club book that I need to read. So this is going to go on longer than a week. Anyway, the logistics don't matter to you. What matters to you is the books. And so far, I have a five-star read. So this concept is already a success. Okay, literally, I have found a new favorite book in every single one of these booktuber favorite videos that I've done. Does that tell me that I need to continue doing this video for the rest of time? Or does it tell me that I should just trust booktubers because they have good recommendations. Okay, I wanted to come back on. I'm talking about this book again, but I was reading it and thinking that it gave me vibes of a different book, but I couldn't think of what the book was. So then I was like, okay, obviously it's not something that's memorable if I can't even figure out what book it is. And I realized it's a book that I hated, but this is like a good version of that. <laughs> 
which this might offend some people because it's like a book that everyone seems to love, but I really didn't like it. Maybe I just wasn't in the right mood for it. But there is a romance book, which is like a bully romance, which is called Vicious by LJ Shen. And it's really, really popular, but I really didn't like it. It's basically a romance between this rich guy and he has a cleaner. I think it's a cleaner. And her daughter is the one who the romance is between. And they, yeah, they, he like is a bully and I really did not like it. But normal people, the characters... It's kind of like a gender role reversal of that, but this is actually enjoyable to me at least anyway. And Vicious started when they were in high school and then went to when they were adults. And this kind of did that. Um, so if you, I don't know who I'm recommend, who I'm recommending this to now, but I don't know. I'm just letting you know that I did not like Vicious, <laughs> even though everyone else did, but I did like normal people because I think I don't know, I just think maybe the bully romances are just not my thing. Which, I'm not sure, is Punk 57 a bully romance? I don't really know, I've only read a few pages, so I don't know. Or is it like hate to love or something? I don't really know. But I don't read a whole lot of romance, so I actually don't <coughs> really... <laughs> Excuse you! I actually... Yeah. I don't really know what I like yet. Um, but yeah, I think I'm definitely going to read <coughs> Dowry of Blood. But I'm going to save it for a little bit later on. I'm like switching between a bunch of vlogs. I'm getting so confused. Anyway, you don't care about that. Bye. Okay, hi. I'm just coming on to update because I've actually finished two books. Since I last updated, I didn't vlog over the weekend and I think, I don't know, I'm trying to film like multiple vlogs at a time. Anyway, um, it was Sapphicathon on the weekend, which is a sapphic readathon that happens monthly and is run by my wonderful friend Jan and Jesse from Bowties and Books. So I participated in that. I didn't vlog it, like I said, but I decided to read A Dowry of Blood for that because there is... Uh, sapphic element to it and that is what I'm including in this vlog because I originally heard about it from Chloe because it was the Patreon buddy read that I didn't read <laughs> and I figured it was fitting to use it for Sapphicathon because Jan recently read that book and absolutely loved it and has been basically posting about it and telling people to read it 24 7 so yeah Sapphicathon was the time for it but I gave it five stars. It was absolutely incredible. Definitely one of my favorite books of the year. And I think it's my favorite book that I've read this month. If you somehow haven't heard about it, it is a Dracula's Bride retelling, but with polyamory. So there is queer elements to it as well. And there were so many amazing quotes and the writing was just as beautiful as everyone has said it is. I have the ebook, so I don't have a physical copy. I definitely need to get a physical copy though. But I finished reading the book and I immediately went back to the parts that I had highlighted and reread those. And it was just, it was beautiful. So I read that and then I finished off reading one of the other books that I had started, which was Punk 57, which is, I don't know, is it considered like a dark romance? I don't really know the romance terms. So let me know if you are a, more of a romance reader than I, but it is, um, I actually really liked the premise of this story. I thought it was so cool. This boy and a girl get paired up together in fifth grade um, to be pen pals. So I guess their two classes were joining together to like make pen pals. And they were supposed to be matching up girls with girls and boys with boys. But because they both have names that are generally used for the opposite sex, the teachers thought they were pairing up a girl with a girl and a boy with a boy, but it's a boy and a girl. Anyway, the point is they get paired up with each other as pen pals. And then after fifth grade, they just keep on writing to each other, but they make a promise that they, even though they know each other's address and they don't live far from each other, they're not going to meet up and they're going to keep their relationship strictly via snail mail. And they're never going to look each other up on like Facebook or anything. And I absolutely loved that premise. That was so cool. Um, yes. And basically it's also kind of like a bully romance. Sorry, Keen's playing in the background. <laughs> I did mention before, I think, 
that I read Vicious by LJ Shen, which that's a boy romance and I hated it. But I actually really enjoyed Punk 57. I was nervous it was going to be similar to Vicious, but I actually really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to give it like 3.5 stars. Um, just, I don't know why, it just wasn't my favourite romance ever. Um, but I really did enjoy that it dealt with a lot of topics. It dealt with like bullying at school and wanting to be popular and fit in. Um, it also dealt with death of a family member. Yeah, and I was thinking it was a three star until we got to the ending and we found out something about the male, the, the male main character, Misha. And to be honest, I feel like that bumped it up a little bit. I was going to give it a four, but I don't know. I'll think on it. But I'm thinking it's a 3.5. That's what I have given it um, on Goodreads. But it was definitely enjoyable. So, so far I have a five star, no, I have two five star reads and a 3.5. And I'm currently reading The Beautiful by Renee Adier. And to be honest, I feel like I'm going to set that one down for a bit and not read it because it is not going to compare to A Diary of Blood now. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I did start reading today Starfish by A Kemal Don Bowman, which that is probably going to be my last book for this vlog. But the other thing that I did want to do, um, because Chloe has fairly recently made a Twitch and created gaming content, I had a gaming channel that was for Sims. I don't think I've really ever spoken about this on here because I kept them separate like they had separate names and everything and I made it when I was pregnant with Kian and we were obviously in the pandemic had <laughs> the pandemic had just started and I was pregnant and not leaving the house so yeah I made a sims gaming channel and I was posting on there I didn't really post for that long obviously once I had a child my time to spend gaming dramatically declined but um I did like change the name so it matches this channel name so I'm thinking about posting on there again I'm not really sure but even if I don't I'm probably gonna do some gaming stuff in this video because oh you smell you've done a poo okay I need to go <laughs> uh, mum life huh month which is a diary of blood by st gibson i am so excited i'm actually doing it for Okay, so I've not really been updating. I feel like this is the worst vlog ever. Um, now my hair looks crazy because I've been outside. Um, but like I said, we're in lockdown and it's not a great time. To be honest, I don't mind being indoors a lot, but Kian is very much an outside boy. He loves being outside and he does not like being stuck in the same four walls for a long period of time. We've had a rough few days because it was raining yesterday. And so we couldn't... Yeah, I know, that's right. So we couldn't go outside at all and he was very upset to have to stay indoors. Today, it's not raining, it's just kind of cold and windy, hence the big puffy jacket. So we finally were able to go outside and run off a little bit of energy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm feeling kind of bad that this vlog is not very exciting. And I'm really sorry, but I am reading some great books. I'm going to be finished Starfish today, so I'll give you my final thoughts on that one. Oh, okay. You don't want me to talk. It's all right. The battery's going to die. Oh. We're just about to have some lunch. <laughs> But, um... I did remember that A Diary of Blood was a Patreon buddy read, so there was a full spoiler vlog of Chloe's that I could watch. Um, so I did that today, and she also put up her spoiler vlog for this month's book, which I had already read, which is Kingdom of the Wicked, so I watched that one as well, because I read that a couple of months ago. We have to go now. I'll be back later. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't think I explained myself very well, but basically I hope that everyone else that is in lockdown at the moment is doing okay um, because yes today we were not having the best day it's hard when you're stuck in the house and nothing is occupying your child and then you know he wants to have a tantrum over a sock or something so yes yeah, sending love to everyone else who isn't feeling great during this pandemic that we are all going through but 
I feel you and I'm here for you. So yeah, that's it. Just hope everyone is doing well. We're feeling a lot better now that we've been able to go get some fresh air out the front of our house. And like I said, yes, I'll be back when I have finished my book. spend too much time um showing you my sims because kian is going to interrupt i can hear him coming to find me but at the moment um i'm doing a challenge on sims if you're not familiar with sims this is going to be so boring to you but there's like challenges you can do where you have to get through 10 generations and each generation there's like tasks that you have to complete which i'm now realizing that maybe that's why i like um themed tbrs because it's like you know, I like to have set goals in Sims the same way I like to have goals in my reading. Um, but the one I'm doing at the moment, it's like each generation is based on a colour. So this is my first generation and she is so, so cute. So I'm only on generation two because like I said, I can barely play. But this is like my favourite Sim ever. I don't know. I use alpha custom content. Um, yeah, I'm not a Maxis Match girl, you know. But yes, her colour is red and... There's a bunch of challenges that you have to complete for her. She has to have certain traits. And yeah, I'm obsessed because like how freaking cute is she? But I'll show you my household that I've made for my actual family. Okay, so I actually do need to edit this family because I haven't played in a while. But I did try and make like my real life family in Sims. Um, so look, I'm not the best. <laughs> So look, I tried making myself, I don't know, I need to edit her a bit. Sorry, my child is now talking in the background. But there is a thing that you can do where you blend like the genetics. So I made myself and I made Daniel and then I blend. So then you mix the genetics. Sorry, Kim's going crazy in the background, so I don't know how I'm going to edit this. <laughs> So I tried making Kian when I mixed our two, like, yeah, genetics together, and that's what it turned out like. I feel like it is pretty accurate to him. But yeah, there's my child. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually don't wear those glasses anymore because I got my prescription changed. Yeah, uh, back in the day when I would wear eyelashes, so... I don't know. You also can't edit foreheads, and I feel like I have a really big forehead, so none of the hairstyles, like, really work. <laughs> but yes <laughs> there's my little sims portion of oh my god kian all right i'm coming on to wrap up this video i just realized i'm using a different camera than i used for the rest but sorry um this was not my favorite reading vlog i've ever made but it's okay life is crazy um i'm wearing a powerpuff girls shirt today so i felt like this was the perfect time to wrap this up because Chloe's cute little friend group. Um, they like call each other the different Powerpuff Girl characters. You guys know. <laughs> so yes, I figured today because I'm wearing this shirt, it is the perfect time to wrap this up. So I read four books for my reading this booktuber's favorites episode. I'm sure you already know books with Chloe, but yeah, like I said, she is like one of my comfort YouTubers, maybe my top comfort YouTuber when I'm having a down day. I rewatch some of her old videos. Um, yeah, I just really love her. But yes, like I said, you're probably already subscribed. So anyway, let's talk about the books because I have updates. Uh-oh, don't touch. All right, so Normal People was a five-star read. I did not talk about what this was about, I realized. Um, it is literally like snippets of life, I guess, throughout time of these two characters, Marianne and Connell, and just... <laughs> He's talking in the background. Anyway, this won't work for everyone. I understand a lot of people don't like this, but I loved it. Um, and I will reread into the future. Sally Rooney did just come out with a new book, so excited for that. We're not going to talk about the other physical book that I got 100 pages into. 
Um, I think a dowry of blood ruined this for me because I just the vibes were good, but I don't know. I'm just gonna put this down. It's not a DNF forever. Don't worry if you like this book. Then the rest of the books were ebooks, which is so weird for me. I hate reading ebooks. But I have a dowry of blood, which was absolutely amazing. So thank you to both Chloe and Jan, um, because Jan is also the reason I picked this up because she has not stopped talking about it. But Chloe was the first person I saw read it because, like I said, it was the Patreon. Buddy Reed, he's gonna make noise in the background. I'm so sorry. And yes, it was a stunning, polyamorous Dracula's Bride retelling. And I was just rooting for the sapphic little relationship. I just wanted them to just knock off Dracula and become the vampire queens. <laughs> anyway. I also read Punk 57, which now that I've had some time to think it over, I know why this wasn't as much of a favorite book for me. What am I trying to say? I, if I had have read this a few years ago, I feel like I would have loved it a lot more. But um, I think the fact that they are high school students, even though they are 18 in the book, I'm pretty sure they're over 18, um, I think that reading explicit sex scenes between high school students, some of which the scenes actually take place in the school, is just not for me. I mean, everyone can read what they want, so if you like it, go ahead. But I think I'm just at an age where, yeah, if that had been set in like college or uni age, I would have probably liked it a bit more. But I loved the premise of the story that they were pen pals and they'd never met and I just thought that was amazing but yeah it was about a 3.5 I think if it was set in college I probably would have loved it more but I think just the fact that it was high school students just made it a little icky for me um, but I'm not judging if you do like it because I can totally see the appeal like I said I love the story I just wish they were older I think I'm just at an age where I just need to read a bit older obviously I'm a mum now so I think I mean I still read young adult books though but I don't know. I don't really know my reading tastes. And then the book that I haven't really updated you on is Starfish by Ekemi Dawn Bowman, which is the newest book to make me cry. Oh, hi. So it is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Um, but yes, it is this girl who has not the greatest relationship with her mother. Her mother is not really a nice person. It was really hard to read and it did make me cry. I do have a younger brother. Um, the character in this has an older brother and a younger brother but the parts with the younger brother, if you've read it you'll know maybe what I'm referring to. Yeah it made me sob because I have a younger brother and it just made me cry. It was a very emotional read. I think I'm gonna give it four stars. I don't know why. I don't have a reason. Sometimes with ratings, I just pop a number out of my head and that's my rating. Maybe it's a five star read. I don't know. I also loved that the main character was an artist. It was stunning. And I also loved the discussion that it had about the fact that love isn't going to fix your mental illness, your mental health, isn't going to fix your internal struggles. Um, you know, finding a boyfriend or a girlfriend isn't something that's going to instantly fix everything in your life and have that be the focus on everything um, and that you shouldn't rely on this partner for your happiness. You need to be happy within yourself. Yeah, it was stunning and I'm so glad I did this week. I am loving doing these booktubers favorites videos and I'm definitely going to be doing more. I have one planned coming up so we'll see if I get around to it because this one took me like a month to do. But yes, I'm sorry it was a mess like all my videos are at the moment. I'm really sorry. <laughs> but thank you if you made it to the end of this video. I really appreciate you being here. I need to take a thumbnail. Also, I have really similar head... Oh, I can't put it with my way my hair is. I have a similar headset to the one Chloe has. It's not the exact same one. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I've had this for a while. How will I take my thumbnail? <laughs> okay. You're in the way, baby. Would you like to hold this? Okay. <laughs> I'm going now. All right, bye.